In this video, I like to present percent concentration. There are three types of percent concentration. Percent weight weight, percent weight volume, percent volume volume. I want to point out that there are two words that are common to all three of these definitions, and that is solute and solution. Solute is a substance dissolved. Solution is the combination of solute and solvent. An example would be sodium chloride, or we consider salt. This could be the solute, and if we have a salt water solution, water would be the solvent. Spell water right. So together, we'll define them as the solution. Now, looking closer at the definition of each of these, in percent weight weight, it's grams of solute divided by grams of solution times 100 percent. So it's the weight of the solute in grams divided by the weight of the solution in grams. In percent weight volume, it's the weight of solute in grams divided by the volume of solution in milliliters times 100%. In percent volume volume, it's milliliters of solute divided by milliliters of solution times 100%. So in these two cases here, percent weight, weight, percent weight volume, the solute is typically a solid. It doesn't have to be, but typically it's a solid. And this third one, a milliliter is a solute. It's a liquid, typically a liquid solute. Now I'd like to present a few problems using each of these percent concentrations. What is the percent weight, weight of sodium chloride solution if 5 grams of sodium chloride are prepared in 250 grams of aqueous solution? So in this case, we simply plug in the numbers to the definition of percent weight weight. So it's 5 grams of our solute, which is sodium chloride, divided by the weight of the solution times 100%. And this is a 2% solution. 2% sodium chloride weight for weight solution. Here's a slightly different problem. How many grams of sodium chloride are in 500 grams of a 0.5 weight per weight aqueous solution of sodium chloride? In this kind of problem, we're not asked to determine the weight, weight percent. We're given the weight, weight percent in this situation. What we're asked to find is the grams of sodium chloride, which is the grams of the solute. So our, our, our unknown is not the percent, but it is in fact one of the items in the fraction. This, be, this essentially becomes a math problem or an algebra problem. So what I would approach it, the way I would approach it is to plug in the numbers that I know. 0.5%. Plug these numbers right into the, the definition. Grams of solute is what I'm going after. Divided by grams of solution. The grams of solution is 500. And I 
need to incorporate the 100%. It's part of the definition. Because I have a 0.5% on the left side. So, if I could call this x grams, I'll solve for x. So, I'll cross multiply 0.5 percent times 500 right here divide that by 100 and that isolates the unknown x it turns out that x equals 2.5 grams. If you want to check your work, plug the 2.5 back into this fraction. So as a check, plug the 2.5 back into the definition and just verify you have in fact determined the correct amount of grams. So it's 2.5 grams of solute divided by 500 grams of solution times 100 percent and that is 0.5 percent so it works out now I'd like for you to try a couple of problems here are two problems I'd like you to try so pause the video, try them out, come back and check your answer. The second one is also identical. Next we'll look at percent weight volume. Percent weight volume is the definition of grams of solute divided by milliliters of solution. What is the weight percent, or what is the, excuse me, percent weight volume of sodium chloride solution if 5 grams of sodium chloride are prepared in 250 milliliters of aqueous solution? So this problem appears to be another plug into the definition and solve for the percent. So in other words, we're plugging into the definition and we're just solving for the left side here. So percent weight volume equals 5.00 grams divided by the volume in milliliters times 100 percent. We find that that is also two percent. Try another one. In this problem, how many grams of NaCl are in 500 milliliters of a 0.5 percent weight volume aqueous solution of sodium chloride? Similar to a problem earlier where we're trying to find the grams of solute. In other words, the item on the right side of the equation. So we'll set up the equation, plug in values that we know, and solve for the unknown. So our percent weight volume is 0.5. That's on the left side of the equation. What we plug in on the right side, well, we don't know the grams of solute. That's what we're going after. So we'll just plug in x grams, and we'll divide that by the milliliters of solution, which we know to be 500, and not forgetting our 100%, and technically I should really put 0.5% on the left side. So now we have it all set up, 
Now we just have to isolate or solve for x. So x is 0.5, 0 divided by, or excuse me, divided by 100 percent, 5 percent, divided by 100 percent times 500 milliliters. So x grams is 0.5 divided by 100 times 500, and that is 2.5, 2.5 grams. Here are two problems I'd like you to try. What is the percent weight volume of KCL if 5 grams of KCL are prepared in 250 milliliters of aqueous solution? And how many grams of KCL are in 500 milliliters of a 0.5 weight volume aqueous solution of KCL? Pause the video and try these out. Well, here are the solutions. And they're identical to the previous problem because the identity of the, of the solute, again, doesn't matter as long as the masses are the same and the volume of the solution is the same. I just want to point out, in this first one, we're plugging right into the, the definition and solving for the left side. In the second example, we're plugging into the definition but solving for the numerator. So it'll be, it's a little bit more of an algebra problem in the second scenario. Try uh, the next definition of percent volume volume. Percent volume volume is defined as the milliliters of solute divided by milliliters of solution times 100 percent. Here's a problem. What is the percent volume volume of ethanol, an ethanol solution, if five mils of ethanol are prepared in 250 milliliters of an aqueous solution? Well, ethanol, as I think we know, is a liquid at room temperature. So in this case, we have a liquid solute in a liquid solution, aqueous solution. So we plug in the numbers to the definition, and we figure out what the percent volume volume is. That is 5 mils divided by 250 mils of solution times 100 percent, which is equal again to 2 percent volume for volume. All right. We'll try another one. This problem should be similar or should be familiar to you. How many milliliters of ethanol are in 500 mils of the 0.5 percent weight, uh, excuse me, 0.5 percent volume per volume aqueous solution of ethanol? Well, here it is again. We're given the percent concentration. In this case, it's 0.5 percent volume volume. We're given the left side and we're asked to find the solute. In this case, the mills of ethanol, the numerator on the right side. And we give them the denominator as 500. And we plug in the times 100%. And I need to remember to keep the percent here too, you know. So now we have that one equation, one unknown, the unknown being the numerator on the right side situation. And x, again, is 0.5 times 100, or times 500, excuse me, times 500 mils, because we're cross-multiplying, divided by 100. And that equals, again, 2.5 milliliters. What I'd like 
to do now is let you try a couple. Here are two problems for you. They should look kind of familiar. And I'm doing this for a reason. Because when we get to molarity, like I said earlier, it's not going to be as, um, um, how can I say, They're not going to be as similar as they are here. So try these two out and come back and see what you get. Well, it looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? I want to point out, in these two problems we have methanol, not ethanol, as your solute. Before we conclude this video, I'd like to show you two variations on uh, percent volume, or I want to show you a variation on percent volume, volume, and a variation on percent weight, weight. That is really, really important to keep in mind. So please stay tuned and keep the video on. Here's a problem I'd like you to try. It's another percent weight, weight calculation. This one reads, what is the percent weight, weight of potassium chloride solution if 5 grams of potassium chloride are prepared with 250 milliliters of water. I want to remind you the definition of sol uh, definition of percent weight weight is grams of solute divided by grams of solution. Carefully read what's in the problem and try it out. Well, if you came up with 1.96%, you'd be right. In this scenario, we need to be careful to include both items in the, in the denominator. Because in the denominator, we need to have the solution. And the solution, again, is the solvent, which is 250 grams of water, and the solute, which is 5 grams of KCl. So collectively, they are 255 grams of solution. And 5 is divided by 255. So I'd like to try another one using percent volume volume. Here's another problem. What is the per what is the percent volume volume of an ethanol solution? if 500 mils of ethanol are prepared in 250 mils of water. Read your definitions carefully and read the information carefully. Pause the video and try this one out. And if you discovered that this is the same answer, 1.96%. Again, because we have to be careful to include both solute and solvent in our denominator, to make up the solution. Now in the problem, it's not stated, the word solute, I mean, excuse me, the word solvent isn't stated. You need to discern and understand that water is typically a solvent in this kind of solutions we're going to be dealing with. So be very careful not to plug in 250 only into the denominator if it's water. If you're told that you have water, you need to add to it the solute to get the solution. That concludes this video.